Hi, I'm Alana. And I'm Chelsea. Welcome to Nightly News Hybrid Learning Edition. While the weather outside is frightful, it looks to clear up by the end of the week. To coincide with our This Week in History segment, this time in her story portrays iconic women in history. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, an American lawyer, jurist, and associate justice of the Supreme Court. She was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1933, receiving her bachelor's degree at Cornell University before studying at Harvard and Columbia University. Ruth spent a considerable amount of time advocating for gender equality and women's rights. She spent a great deal of time arguing before the Supreme Court. She fought diligently to protect Roe v. Wade. She was appointed by President Bill Clinton in 1993. Ruth Bader Ginsburg became the second female Supreme Court Justice. She spent her life fighting for not only women to be heard in politics, but for women to be heard in general. To quote RBG, fight for the things you care about, but do it in a way that will lead others to join you. Today is Election Day. Be heard today, November 3rd. Spread the word. You have tips for people who don't know if they'll be able to make it or put aside time to get to the polls on November 3rd, and how can they receive their absentee mail-in ballots? Well, absentee ballots are one way to go, and you need to register and request those in advance. But now they're offering mail-in ballots, too, in many states. And um, many people have already voted. Uh, I mean, some people have already picked whether they're going to vote for who they're going to vote for president, who they're going to vote for, you know, different county and state positions. So um, as we speak, these things are being done, and they're even going to accept ballots after the election. So we may not know on election night who won. It may take uh, several days or even, uh, you know, uh, could take a couple of weeks, but um, hopefully, you know, if the process is good, uh, it'll come out right in the end. So uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed for America that, you know, good people will uh, and level heads will rise. In college, your professors are not going to be on you about work. It's up to you once they give you the syllabus to try to stay on top of assignments. I went off to Pennsylvania to attend college, but after a couple of years, it really wasn't for me. So I joined the United States Coast Guard and spent 24 years on the greatest adventure I have ever experienced. Was not doing well when I first started because, you know, I was treating it like high school. I wasn't studying, you know. I, I Then I realized, oh, I need to study. So make sure you're studying in college and doing all the workload that is the biggest difference between the two is that it's very college is very condensed into one semester so you're learning a lot new information faster definitely developing that sense of responsibility you know taking care of yourself mom and dad aren't there to do your homework or to force you to do your homework on your own and being self-driven is definitely a big difference as well as just time management i mean learning to juggle your classwork your sports, um, any other extracurricular activities, um, even just finding time to yourself is definitely a big difference between college and high school. The biggest difference is just how your day is set up. I think that's definitely the weirdest part to me because I have like maybe two classes that last like an hour all day and then I have like huge gaps in my day when I have a lot of homework and reading to do but it's just it's definitely like a whole nother ball game of time management. Also, you have a lot more free time in college, so you have to make sure that you get your work done and use your time wisely. If you are interested in being part of our Words of Wisdom segment, email us at rfa nighttimes19 at gmail.com. Remember RFA, take charge and show some RFA pride. We're all in this together. together.